a Realtor with John Ray Realty, and today I'm with Susie Dartlone at Iberia Bank. Susie, tell me a little bit about your banking experience. Okay. I have been with Iberia Bank for the last 10 years. I've been in the mortgage to biz business for the last um, 15. Uh, we do process, underwrite, and close our own loans, which enables us to be able to close loans quicker. Um, I have been the top producer for Iberia Bank for the last three years. That's great. One thing I do like about the underwriting in your in your bank, it, as a realtor, I like that because you know that the process is just going to be a little bit smoother. Tell us a little bit today about uh, making a, an application for a loan. Someone wants to buy a house, what's the first thing they need to do? We have a mortgage loan application that we get the customer to come in and complete. That gives us their information as far as their names, their social security numbers, dates of birth, and their employment information. Whenever we get that completed, we get it keyed in, and at that point, we will run their credit report. Whenever we have that completed, that will give them a pre-approval based off of their credit, and they know at that point that they would be able to go in and purchase the home based off of the product that they choose. Will you tell them the amount that they'll be qualified for? When they go out to look for a home, will they know what their ceiling is? That's correct. Normally what we will do is we'll ask them if there is a sales price that they do not want to go in and go above, or if there is a payment that they don't want to increase. They want their payment set at $1,500, then we will try to get them at a $1,500 payment. And so whenever they go out and look with their realtor, they will know what type of sales price to be looking for. I see. So now they're pre-approved and they're going to go out and find a house. So once they get a house, when they come back to you, what kind of paperwork do they need to bring? We will need to get copies to verify their employment. We get their current paycheck stubs, two years of W-2s, two months bank statements, and copies of their driver's license and social security card along with their contract in order to get their paperwork started. Okay. Now, once they get into the process, let's say they've uh, done their home inspection already, when will you order the appraisal? Once that they're comfortable with their home inspection, we will go in and order their appraisal. Once that we order their appraisal, we usually go ahead and order their title in order to know that the title and everything is clear. I see. Once the appraiser goes out, how long does it usually take him to get back to you? Usually within five to seven business days, we'll have the appraisal back. Okay, once you get that appraisal back, then what's the next step? Once we get the appraisal back, we usually have tried to verify their employment history with their employer. We've had their paperwork that we need to get back from them. Uh, we have the appraisal and then we submit it to our underwriter. And once that we get it to underwriting, it's usually a 24 to 48 hour turnover time in order for us to have their final approval. Once we have their final approval, at that point we can set them to go to closing. Great. So if they're looking for a house, all they have to do is call Susie Dartlong at Iberia Bank and she will get you fixed up. Thank you for joining us today.